Hello, let's go fix an FRS. Ah! We need to head out to O'Reilly's, grab an axle for this car, and then we're gonna go to Bader's and fix this damn thing. Okay, let's just chill with the brakes. All right, we got old girl in the shop. I'm gonna go ahead, get this thing up in the air, pull off the wheel, and we can see what in the heck is going on with this car. Oh, she spins pretty freely. Yeah, so this joint, outer joint on the driver's side CV, looks like it took poop. I thought I swapped out that axle before, but that's an OEM axle on there. So the last time I thought I broke it, I think it just came apart and I put it back together. That's probably why it broke again, or came apart again. So I'll just put a new one on this time. Car is all finished up, back together. Should be good to go. Check out this axle. When I get back to my shop, I'm gonna pull this boot off and see exactly what's going on. But as you can see, it's a little bit more floppy than it should be. What's up, guy? I only get in somewhere of this thing. Hell yeah. Well, thanks for letting me use your shop. No problem. This is going to be the first time feeling her on the street, and I'm excited. It's fast. It's really freaking fast. This thing is a ripper. It's so light, too, compared to, like, a owner of this car weighs. It's quite a bit lighter than, like, an Evo or an STI. It doesn't drive very good. The drivability is pretty ass on it because we weren't able to dial it in because we broke an axle, but it holds dick. I don't think I said it in yesterday's video. We went up to 18 pounds. So the car's on 18 pounds right now, which I know is a lot more than people recommend running on the stock FA. This thing is a 12.8 to 1, I believe, compression ratio. So yeah, we're gonna only run E in this car, of course, on 18 pounds. On pump gas, we'll probably cap it at like 12 pounds or even 10, just to keep it safe.
All right, we just made it to our shop. Today, Gary has to go back together. We are on a pretty tight timeline. We got a ton of, a ton of other projects coming up and other things going on. So this car has to be done like 100% by tomorrow morning. Hopefully we can get it done tonight. So here's what we gotta do. This engine's all finished up. We didn't really do anything, just resealed the pan. It's all nice and hardened up. It's been a couple, what has it been, like 40 hours now. So the exhaust manifold is gonna go back on. We're gonna get the engine on the engine crane and then our beautiful ACT mod twin is gonna go on, which I'm very, very excited for. Oh man, I'm kind of nervous. Driving a new clutch always scares me because if you don't like it, then you're kind of screwed. You gotta take it all back apart, but we should be good there. It's a full face twin organic disc. Let's go ahead and do that. And then this thing's ready to go back in the car. And there was a few things I wanted to kind of clean up. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to like completely redo all the AOS hoses. I'll do what I can. I know Bobby doesn't care. Like, of course the system works perfect, but I just wanted to make it a little bit cleaner up in the bay. So the engine's ready to go, clutch is installed, everything is torqued down, thing looks freaking beautiful. Really excited to drive this thing now. Before we put the engine in the car, we do need to go ahead and get our new throw out bearing installed onto the trans. So let's go ahead and get the car down on the ground and we can go ahead and do that and engine can go in. She's in. Thanks, Bobby, for installing. You're welcome. What's next? Um, putting her back together.
Can you come downstairs, please? Bobby? You have to do the honors. I just need to make sure your clutch works, but I want you to feel it first. I'm, I'm too scared to hit the clutch. Hopefully it's not stiff. Hopefully it feels nice. Oh, what? What? Feels like normal. Is that what you want? Yeah. You look disappointed that it ain't breaking your leg in half. I mean, usually when it breaks your leg in half, it means it's a really cool clutch. You like to go chattering down the road with your clutch? Nah. It feels really good. I'm super excited to try it. I wanna try. <laughs> I wanna try, let me try, let me try. That's impossible. Maybe I forgot to put the clutch in. What if I put the slack one back in? That's so soft. That's trippy. That is trippy. It's really trippy. I think that handle 700 foot pounds kind of wants to give me a boner. Bader, this is for you. I know you like your VR1. The car is 100%. Actually, it's 99 because I didn't put the bumper on. But this car is not going to be driven tonight. There's a few other little things we will finish up tomorrow, but we can go ahead and start it. So, Bobby, are you starting it or am I? Obviously, the starter and Obviously. the family. Yep. All right. Get in. I'll throw it up in the air a little bit so I can confirm we don't have leaks. Okay. And tell me how your clutch feels. Are you ready for the multi disc chatter? Means you, it means you're fast. Do you think this one will chatter at all? Like the rattling? Yeah. When it's in, yeah. Mm. Hopefully a little bit. Okay. Sounds kind of cool. All right, one second. Why'd your fans come on? That was weird. Your fans shouldn't be coming on. That kind of means it's in like a test mode almost or a lint mode. Yeah, I think I was this main harness over here. Might not be plugged in all the way. Oh, yep, yeah. that was unplugged. They're not plugged in all the way. All right. What the hell? I'll take a bit. Injectors were didn't have any fuel. Hit her again. throwing four different codes could not figure it out and then they randomly just started running fine i don't know what the hell is going on it's being picky but the car's up in the air we still have a lot or not a lot a few other little things to finish up before i pull this car off the lift and we need to get some more coolant so this car is staying at the shop tonight but bobby can still have it on the lift and go through the gears with their new clutch and tell me how it feels what if i kill it should i have the e-brake on <laughs> I'm not good at doing this anyways. Can you do it? 
Bobby, just tell, just drive the car like you're on the street. I can't. You can't drive your car in the air. No. No. Okay, well how does the pedal feel? It feels so good. It literally it feels like nothing's changed. That's insane. Yeah. So Bobby stole all of my VR1. We only had four quarts. I need to get a little bit more VR1. Gotta grab some super coolant. I need to rotate the tires on it because Bobby's a stance boy and the inner this thing's leaking oil. So I gotta, I gotta rotate the tire, or flip the tires. What else? There's one other thing. Oh, trans oil. We'll get that knocked out in the morning and then we can go drive the damn car. All right, get out of this thing. Let me see what the hell's leaking. There's a tiny bit of oil on the ground. Oh, baby, I have honey, my butt's being lifted up on the car. <laughs> Babe, seriously? Claustrophobic now, out. <laughs> honey, please let me out. It's not new oil, that's old, but still I don't like it. Touch of oil on the ground, looks like it's sitting on the manifold. That could have been from when the motor was just chilling out of the car, to be completely frank. I think it's just resig, residue oil, yeah. That's, that's definitely old, If you, you can just tell by the, technically you can tell by the texture and the color. Okay, please don't put that in there because I'm totally joking. All right, only a couple things left to do on this car. I'm gonna go ahead and drain out the gear oil in the trans. We can get the new cocktail in. And then tonight I'm also gonna go ahead and flip the tires because this car does run a little bit of camber. I like to go sideways a lot in this car as well. So there's a little bit of wear on the inside of the tires. So if we take the inside and put it to the outside because they're directional, this wear will swap over to this side and be on the outside of the tire if that makes sense. All right guys, it's the next morning. Let's go ahead and get this car 100% dialed in. So all we have left is coolant, double check engine oil, torque the wheels, get the intake back on, front bumper on, drive the damn car, and see how this clutch feels. I'm not joking when I say this is literally literally the softest clutch I've ever felt in my life. The fact that this clutch somehow holds 700 foot pounds is insane. Check this out. I know you guys can't really tell. It's so light. Now of course pedal feel isn't the only thing that matters. So let's go drive the car before we can actually like test test the car, see how it holds up under flat foots and whatnot, see if it locks us out. We do need to break it in, but let's go just drive the car and see how it feels as a daily driver. Literally feels like I'm driving like an FRS. That's a, that's the pedal fuel. It's 
like a stock FRS. Super, super light, which I love. I don't know if everybody loves the light pedal, but I love a light pedal. Jared, yeah. order that damn clutch for every goddamn car that I own. What clutch is it? The mo the twin. Is it nice? Dude, go feel it. Come on, let's go feel it real quick. Okay. You gotta feel this damn thing, it's oh, insane. Dude. Bobby said you're sick? Yeah. <sighs> Too much dick? <laughs> Something like that. Pop in this bitch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It feels like a stock glitch. What go, the f Go drive it like 10 feet, bro. I swear to God, you will literally die of excitement. <laughs> it's so weird. What the hell? I feel like something's wrong, bro. Like, That's so, dude. It feels like a stock Where car. does it bite at? Just go drive it. If Jerry can drive the car, anyone can. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to drive it like a built clutch. I'm like scared. That is crazy. Feels like a stock clutch. It feels like the the blue WRX clutch. It feels like my BRZ. Like it's 100 stock. It's so light. I love it. It's nothing. I know. Dude, that is so weird. It's so light. That's weird. That's so crazy. Dang, I like it a lot. Damn, dude. Like I love my clutch, but it's crazy that this is a twin. Rate it on a one to ten scale. Dude, ten for sure. It's like, it's so light. Damn, that's nice. That that's up. really nice. I like it. Absolute busting. I'm a fan. Big fan. Holds all the power too. Apparently so, 700 foot pounds. That's wild, that feels so good. Yeah. I would not expect that at all. Mm -hmm. I thought it was gonna feel way heavier. Well, everybody so far approves of the clutch. Guess we'll see what happens under some serious power and some serious aggressive driving. Very, very excited for it. 10 out of 10 for sure. If you guys want to pick this clutch up, I'll link it down below. I'll also link down the Redline Cocktail in the description box below if you have an STI and you're having any sort of notchiness or grinding gears when you shift. I would highly recommend the Redline Cocktail. Big thank you to ACT for sending out this clutch. Really excited to be partnered up with them. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Peace out, my friends. I'll see you guys tomorrow.